Okay, so now we're going to look at the process of actually um, creating a table from this, this extract and querying it um, here in Google BigQuery. Okay, so I'm still in the, you know, I'm in the data previewer. I've gone ahead and I've added my public data sources in the previous menu. Um, and I'm just still looking, you know, I'm looking at all the, the data connections right here. Okay, and in this particular instance, I am looking at the mid-year population estimates for age and sex um, for all countries from, you know, gives me from 1981 all the way to its projection for 2030. Okay, so I could export here if I wanted to use it, okay. Um, I could copy this table, which is very large, so I wouldn't suggest that. I can look down here on the bottom right-hand corner to see um, how many results there are total. So there's 30,000 rows in this data set. Or I could click on Query really quickly. And I could say Query in a new tab or in a split tab. This is, you know, again, to your preference. Uh, or I could add it to my Data Canvas or Python notebook, which I won't do right now. I'm just going to go ahead and do it in a split tab. And I'm going to do it in a split tab because that lets me reference actually the, the schema data here still, uh, which I want. Okay, so it pops up this untitled query. I'm going to actually quickly change. Um, and in order to change, I have to, to save. So I'm going to click save the query. I'm going to name this query um, census mid-year mod 8. Review. Okay, um, it's asking me for my region, which is the the area in which this data would be stored. It's my my data lake. Uh, it's the physical space uh, where this data is actually not in the cloud, but saved on a server somewhere, um, a data farm. Okay, so I've got my basic select and my from statement. And then I've got a limit function because, you know, sometimes these data sets are very large and we don't want to pull everything. All right. So I'm going to say, give me the country name and give me the sex at birth. And then max age, I'm guessing is the, you know, the oldest person, but I'm going to do, I want to know how many people for all were born that are currently, we'll say 50 in the world. Population age 50, because so that's a nice midway. Oh, and I misspelled country, and so Google BigQuery you'll see is really, really helpful and you know, letting me know when I've done something wrong. I'll get that under under red. Okay, I'm no longer going to limit this any longer. Um, I'm going to also get year, actually. All right. All righty. So I'm just going to pull these these four indicators. And I'm going to get rid of my limit so I get the full data set. And I'm going to click on run. And I will get a little pop-up down here with the results. Now you can adjust this window to however you want. Um, this is totally up to you. I could make this bigger. Okay, so I can see now that it's given me uh, estimates. This is just preview again. I still have just as many records because I've not limited. I haven't, you know, haven't limited in any way any longer. So it's still the exact same data set. I've just restricted the number of columns that I'm looking at to make it a little bit smaller. So. I now want to actually restrict this further. Let's say we are only interested in um, a specific period of years. So we could say we're, where the year is in, we'll just say last year. How many 50 year olds were there um, by country last year? Let's rerun this and see what happens. Okay, well now this looks a little bit different. Now I don't have, you know, my preview is also shifted because I'm still now I'm looking at the first 50 rows, but my first 50 rows of data are just the estimate for one specific year instead of all the years available in my data. 
I could, since this goes up to 2030, this particular data set tracks data from uh, 1983 or 81 all the way through the, its projection of 